Hi, gorgeous, and a very happy Frugal Friday to you <laughs> from Tilly and I. If you're new to the channel, welcome. This is Tilly, and we make videos like this every single Friday focusing on drugstore products. So please subscribe so you can see her beautiful face in the future. <laughs> Me too, I'll be here, you know. Today I'm testing out the Revlon Exactify liner, and this is a dupe for the MAC roller wheel eyeliner. Do you remember that pizza cutter eyeliner that I reviewed recently? I said in that video, wait, there's gonna be a drugstore company that's gonna come out and dupe this eyeliner. Just wait. Well, Revlon has done it, but I really wanted to test it out to see if they did dupe it accurately or if there is some qualities that are missing. So in today's video, I'll show you an application demonstration. I've also included a wear test and I'll let you know. Is the Revlon one worth checking out or should you stick with MAC? Before I show you the application with the Revlon Exactify, I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison here with the MAC Roller Wheel Liner. I'm telling you, somebody must have leaked some information from MAC to Revlon because they are dead on looking when you compare them side-by-side. -side. Packaging is identical, look at that. And Estee Lauder, the company that owns Mac, does not own Revlon because sometimes you'll see a high-end brand come out with a dupe in the drugstore and it's usually because that high-end brand owns a drugstore brand. So they're very sneaky like that. But that's not the case here because Revlon is not owned by Estee Lauder. And this is what they look like side by side. Revlon over here, Mac over here. Identical between the two. So I'll also do a demonstration on the back of my hand. This is the Revlon roller wheel, which is not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be when it went on. But I have another color here. I also got the black one. This is in the shade mermaid blue, by the way. So we will attempt, let me shake it first before I do this. I did it with the other one too, but apparently shaking it didn't work with that one. We'll try the black one here. Okay, the black one is a little better in pigmentation, so maybe there's a dud with the blue one that I got, I'm not sure. And I'll show you the MAC one here as comparison so you can see pigmentation. Of course, the camera goes blurry right when I try to show you the MAC swatch next to the Revlon one. Let's try this again. All right, this is the MAC one, and you can see why I love the MAC one, intense pigmentation, but it's in competition with that Revlon one, pretty intense black there. I'm a little bummed about this blue eyeliner though. I built my eyeshadow look around wearing a blue eyeliner today. I'm gonna shake it, shake it, shake it, see if that helps. Uh, it's still, mm, it's very watery compared to the black one, which is a real intense black. I mean, it's not, Terrible, it looks a lot better than it first did in the swatch I showed you, but I'm a little disappointed by that. So instead of using blue, I'm gonna use black. <laughs> Sorry to be so boring. I was trying to do something different, but it didn't work out so well. What I will tell you is that the roller wheel design takes a little bit of practice, and I've used the MAC one enough to get enough practice in with it to where I feel very comfortable using a roller wheel to apply my eyeliner now. So it may look easy when I do it, but just keep in mind that I've been using the MAC one for several weeks now, and don't get discouraged with this. It does have a learning curve to it, takes a little bit of patience, but once you get accustomed to it, it's such a dream mechanism to apply your eyeliner with. I can't talk when I do this, so cue the music. Holy pigmentation, talk about a rich, intense black line with the Revlon Exactify Liquid Liner. Compared to the MAC Roller Wheel Formula, it's not a matte finish. It's a little shinier, it's not completely terrible, and it does take a little longer to dry compared to the MAC Roller Wheel Liner. Depending on your preference, you may like that, you may hate it. I like it from the standpoint of it gives you a little bit more time to work with it when you're applying it, as opposed to if it dries so quickly that you don't have much wiggle room to work with it. A tip I will give you if you do want to try out a roller wheel eyeliner is if you noticed when I was applying it, the way that I hold it is at an angle like that 
and I use the wheel back and forth. When I initially started using the roller wheel, I was doing it more like this, and that will give you a lot more mistakes, but if you hold it at an angle to your eyes and you roll it, it makes application a lot easier. So far, I love the application with the Revlon Exactify Liquid Eyeliner, and I would definitely compare it to the MAC Roller Wheel Eyeliner, despite the minor differences that I listed out for you between the two. Now, it's remained to be seen how this wears throughout the day and how easy or how difficult it is to remove, but I will give you an update on those two qualities in about five seconds. Well, here's the thing. The day that I was testing this eyeliner, I was completely complacent. When I went to go take my makeup off that night, I took my lashes off like normal, almost washed my face, and then I thought, woohoo, wait a minute, I'm doing a wear test today we have a guest. So thankfully, I stopped myself, <laughs> went to go record the check-in, and fortunately, only one of my eyes got some of the eyeliner ripped off from taking the lash off. So that's what you're seeing in the up-close example here after 10 hours of wearing this eyeliner. But on my one eye, it did remain intact. And I do have to tell you that this eyeliner did not smudge, flake, transfer, or move at all during the whole 10 hours that I was wearing it. Now, is the Revlon Exactify liner an exact dupe for the MAC Roller Wheel? Uh, somewhat. It's not matte in finish like the MAC Roller Wheel, and it takes a little bit longer to dry, but if those two qualities don't really matter to you, then you would be thrilled with the Revlon Exactify liner. And I also want to mention that if the roller wheel, <laughs> I love her, if the roller wheel eyeliner is a new concept for you and it's something you're not really comfortable with and you don't wanna spend the $20 on the MAC one just to find out you don't like it, the Revlon one is a cheaper investment that you could practice with, find out if you do like it, if you do, then you could purchase the MAC one. And I feel like that is one of the qualities that I really love about there being a drugstore dupe, specifically with an eyeliner mechanism like this one. Let me know what you thought about the Revlon Exactify liner. Is this something that you are going to try or are you going to skip? We wanna thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Tilly and I wish you a wonderful weekend, don't we? And we will see you again next week. Maybe you'll be here, huh? <laughs> she might.